Let's look at how we can get multiple lines of text to show up in a label or a message box. In design time, if you want the program to start with multiple lines in a label, we can go to the text property. If we click there, the little drop down tab, we can now type in here with multiple lines. So um, here's one line of text. I can hit enter. Another line of text. If I want to skip, I can hit enter twice and get yet more text. And if I click off of that, there they all are. At design time, you can do it right there. I'm going to get rid of all that. And we're going to check out how we can do it while the program is running. So first I'll start with a label. And the key thing is to use backslash N. So the backslash is above enter on your keyboard. That's going to help us get a new line. It's a new line character. So I can, in my label, put multiple lines of things. So right here inside the quotation marks, I'm going to put backslash N, and that will put us on a new line. I'll do another backslash N. So the backslash N is going to get us a new line. Check it out. Everywhere we use backslash n, we got a new line. That backslash n does have to be inside the quotation marks. If you want an extra blank line, I'll go right here and put a backslash n followed immediately with another backslash n for that new line character, and then that'll give us two blank lines. Sometimes it helps to separate these things and like this, I'll end some quotation marks here, put a plus sign and then start more quotation marks. So I'm going to split these things up. So I have each line inside its own set of quotation marks. This will look the same when we run it, but you might find it easier to read. In fact, after these plus signs, I can hit enter and now it's even easier to read in the code. I can see where the new lines are. But it's not because I pressed enter while I was typing the code. It's because of these backslash ends. Once again, it still runs the same. We can do the same thing with a message box. So I'll make a message box show up with messagebox.show and then use backslash n to get new lines in the message box. And let's check it out. There we go. Two backslash ends got us an extra line here and everywhere else there was a backslash end, we went to a new line. So again, backslash n is a new line character and that's how in runtime you can make a new line of code show up in a label or a message box.